Hello you absolute legends, welcome back to the channel. We are on a mystery journey this morning for my birthday. We are in the back roads of Lincolnshire. Uh, it is my birthday today and we are heading out uh, for the morning for a little surprise for me. I've got absolutely no idea where I'm going. Mrs John Keaton's with me. We're in the pink bug as you can see and uh, follow us then as we go on a little journey to the mystery location. All will be soon become clear. Well, today we're at the Lincolnshire Wildlife Park. Uh, it's in Friskney, near Skegness, between Skegness and Boston, Lincolnshire. I've got Mrs John Cooper with me. Uh, I'm actually here for my birthday. Yeah, it's my birthday. Uh, we're going to do a guided tour, a bit of a walk around and show you about our day. Uh, established in 2003, so been open for 20 years now. Started as the uh, parrot sanctuary actually and I came here a long time ago, did some photographs for a friend uh, and it's sort of evolved over time to the Lincolnshire Wildlife Park and we've got with us today our map here is the map uh, and we're going to give you a bit of a guided tour and show you about our day uh, toilets as soon as you walk in great and uh, a big cantini snack bar place for you to get your bits and pieces uh, and also um, there's an animal snack bar there, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Uh, we're going to get some snacks for the birds and the meerkats and bits and pieces. And uh, I think they're about three or four quid. And you can uh, feed them to the animals. Right, we've got our snackies then. What have we got? These are for the animals. We've got some millet here for the uh, walk through Avery part later. Uh, in here are some meal mealyworms for the meerkats. We've got some peanuts for the parrots, and then uh, we actually got given an extra um, millet as well. Uh, that's a fiver, not a problem. Uh, it supports the, the parrot zoo, and obviously uh, we get to feed the animals as well. Let's go. Uh, so we're walking through the main entrance past uh, this, which is the animal snacks, and I'm guessing in the spring and the summer when it's a bit more busy, this area is open so you can buy your snackies for the parrots. There's a uh, kiddies play area over here. And uh, what's this then? So this is the first thing that we come to. Please do not feed the lemurs. Oh, so some lemurs in here. <laughs> Got to find them first. I'm sure they'll be around the other side. Love birds. Oh, there they are. Oh, yeah, there we go. Mr. Lovebird. <laughs> Hello. That's what I thought. Oh, someone's a bit noisy. This is the African grey parrots. And uh, actually, the, the centre rehome parrots as well. So if you've got an African grey parrot and for whatever reason struggling to look after them, uh, you can bring them to the sanctuary and they will look after them. Let's zoom in on the parrots. There we all are. They're having breakfast at the moment. Noisy old parrots. And the African greys are beautiful and they're one of the most commonly housed parrots in the UK. And they do, they do uh, get a little bit boisterous, a little bit big for the boots and people do struggle to look after them. So these African greys have been segregated from the others because they are the infamous swearing parrots. Uh, some of these parrots uh, have an uh, uh, interesting vocabulary that will get us banned from the old YouTubes. He's not going to do it today. <laughs> ah, there we go. I think he's after Mrs John Coopman's nuts. These are the uh, the swearing parrots. Now, not only do the park have uh, the exhibits and bits and pieces that you can look at, they also do uh, animal rehabilitation, um, where they receive uh, animals that have been used for uh, laboratory testing uh, and bits and pieces like that, and they take them and uh, rehabilitate them into a sort of semi sort of natural environment. And they've got the small animal unit the medical unit and the nutrition centre as well. Uh, Nan days, quite like that. Uh, right, let's have a look. So this, th that's obviously an area where we can't go uh, because there's lots of ongoing work in the background. 
But uh, we found some other beautiful birds here. So these are uh, birds who have just arrived. It's the introductory aviary. Um, they get put into here, I'm sure it's to make sure that everyone's okay and healthy. There's a cockatoo here, look. Hello. <laughs> You've got to say it like that when you talk to a parrot, haven't you? Uh, let's see what else we can see in the small care unit. Oh, it's the wild wood pigeon <laughs> exhibit. Uh, also known as garden turkeys in my house. Hello. Hello. He's coming as well. Hello. <laughs> Uh, so this is the uh, small animal care unit then, and the introductory aviary again. Lovely little fountainy pond bit in the middle there. And uh, here are some of the parrots that have been introduced. You can see there's a lovely blue macaw at the back there who's <coughs> suffering massively with feather loss. Uh, and that's a big, big shame. But obviously that is why uh, they've got this aviary. It's to rehabilitate them and get them back into sort of a fighting fit shape to be with the other birds. So hopefully that lovely blue macaw will uh, gain all his feathers back. So in here is the uh, special assistance room which is the animals that do need a little bit more of attention when they come in. There's some lovebirds in there, a parrot and bits and pieces and they're in there in the little animal hospital just to make sure that they're okay before being necessarily released into the uh, into the main aviaries. So I've just given this cockatoo this, uh, this nut and he seems quite happy with that. That's part of our peanut feeding. There you go. Nice. And this one's missing out. You can do that as much as you want, mate. I've got not got any peanuts left. So this is the larger medical room area. And we've got some more cockatoos. In today, baby gock. His egg found in the aviary. that had been rejected. And so uh, they've incubated baby gock. And now baby gock is... Apparently fighting fit. Who else have we got in here? We've got some macaws and a cockatoo. What have you seen? Ah, oh, there's some work going on in here as well. I think they're getting some food and bits and pieces ready for some of the other animals because it's not just parrots here, by the way. There's uh, Tigers and emus and all sorts of things, and we'll see those as we go around. Hello. This looks like a likely trio. <laughs> Very good. It's starting to get busy now. We're here. It's about eleven o'clock on the first of April. It's starting to get busy. Here at the, uh, well, I call it the parrot zoo, but it's the wildlife park. So Mrs. John Cooper's reaching into her pocket and the parrot already knows, or the cockatoo I should say already knows, that it's nut time. <laughs> there we go. Oh, one for you. One for you. Runs away, just like Crystal does. And one for you as well. They don't hang about, do they? They get, <laughs> they get their nuts and off they go. You dropped it, mate. You dropped it. Everybody's eating the nuts. And that's quite good how that you can do that. There's a little girl around there who's able to feed the parrots. I think they like a little bit of attention and fuss as well. Because this one's enjoying a bit of a bit of a head scratch before having a nut. No, doesn't want the nuts, just wants the attention. Although this greedy little one's coming in and he's taking the nut. Oh, 
Look, you know, nicely rehabilitated. This one loves a bit of fuss, as you can see. Loves a little bit of a scratch. This lovely pink, pink cockatoo. And you're coming in for some as well. A couple of beautiful galahs here. Hello, galahs. You flaming galah. <laughs> And there's a lovely, beautiful cockatoo here. Beautiful. <laughs> Further down then. So this is, we're currently walking through the parrot area and there's a beautiful couple of macaws here. We'll have a look at those in just a moment. Here at the wildlife park. Here's some beautiful blue macaws and uh, they're looking out for some nuts. But Mrs. John Coupland's got the nuts. These are beautiful. And they are, as you can see, they're you know, just stood on a pole next to me here. Here at the uh, wildlife park. Beautiful. We've just tried to feed these, uh, these macaws some peanuts. And they just dropping them on the floor. So uh, they're not really bothered. You've had enough peanuts today, haven't you, mate? And then we've got this one here. He's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Lovely. It's nice that you can get so up close and personal with them as well. Yes, you. Noisy. Hey. Noisy. Right, we're leaving the macaws then and we're going further round. Uh, oh, what's this? Oh no, these are my mealworms. I was looking for my map. Um, it's really grown exponentially since the last time we came. Honestly, it was just sort of five or six cages. <laughs> And a load of uh, parrots. And it's nice to see that the, the park are actually investing quite a lot of money uh, in everything here. They've really done a great job. Um, and I'm really impressed so far. Let's walk around here then. And there's lovely foliage and bushes and nice concrete walkways all the way around. Free flying parrots. That doesn't mean you get one. Uh, we have free flying parrots that you might see. <laughs> They've escaped. Uh, but they, they still come back. They've got to come back, aren't they? They know where the food is. In your pocket. What have you got left? Still half a bag of peanuts. Nuts. The, um... So there's this thing. This stuff. <laughs> Millet. Millet, I think it's called. Not the camping superstore. What's in here? European eagle owl called Teat. <laughs> Can you see the owl? No. Hello, owl. <laughs> We found Teat the Owl. He's in his home. Hello, Owl. <laughs> it looks like he's having some breakfast. It's nice, he's got this open space, so I'm guessing he'll fly in and out, maybe? Right, we're in here we've got the lorikeets and the uh, concures and the macaws and this sort of thing. And these little monkeys, they absolutely love leather jackets. And the last time, this is John Cooper and I came to the walk around Avery part. One had a little nibble on my very expensive leather jacket and ruined it. So I'm glad to see you're well behind bars today, you naughty thing. You're just shy. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Noisy. How many nuts? Have you given them all nuts? Well, we've got loads of nuts left. We're still going strong. We've just come past a whole enclosure of galahs which are native and indigenous to Australia. And what have we got here? We've got a couple of, uh, I don't know what these are. Hello. <laughs> Having a bit of a rest. So we've walked past the lemur enclosure and couldn't see any lemurs. Uh, so they might be in the lemur lounge or they might be through here. Can we see the lemurs? Uh, I'm assuming they're in here. Yeah, there they go. Oh, they're all fast asleep. Lazy blooming lemurs. Come on, I thought you liked to move it, move it. Well, I've not got my money's worth of lemurs yet. And here we have a beautiful selection of macaws. We've got a red macaw, blue macaw, and a green macaw here as well. They're all having their breakfast. Hello. 
<laughs> they don't want to know me, they're too busy enjoying their brekkie. Mm. Oh, we've been walking for probably, what, 10 minutes now? 10, 20 minutes uh, around the park. So much more to see. I'm disappointed in the uh, lack of lemur activity, because I love the lemurs. They always make me smile. Hang on then. Right, Mr. Cockatoo. Here you are. They're nice. Ah, I don't blame you, it looks good. Looks good, mate. Bit noisy around here at the moment. Everyone's trying to outdo each other. Not sure who is squawking at who at the moment. Sounds like Mrs. John Cooten when I say I'm going to go and buy myself another proton. No. No. Oh, look at these beautiful, beautiful birds. Oh, a bit noisy, mate. You're a bit noisy. Oh no, peanuts. He's seen the fact that Mrs. John Cooten's got peanuts. Come on then. Not sure. That's it, that shut you up. <laughs> so he's still squawking, even though he's got a peanut in his mouth. Make from that what you will. Right, what have we got in here? Ah, some blue macaws. Who are again enjoying their breakfast, and there's one up there having a little bit of a nap. We found something, Mrs. John Cooper's found something. Anyway, what have you found? Tortoises. Hello, this is a lovely sulfur crested cockatoo. Oh, wowza. Here we go. Big old tortoise having a wander. There he goes. Faster than the speed of light. And that is going to be a very old tortoise. It's about the speed I walk when someone says, you have to get ready for work now. There he goes. There's another one over here. Having a bit of breakfast. He's uh, enjoying life. And he's heading in. He's had enough for the day. We found herself a big tortoise having some dinner. Here he comes. I think he thinks we've probably got some dinner of some description. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Off he goes. What's he found? Some grass to have a munch on. That's a bit, a bit flooded for them. We've had a sort of Three or four days of rain here in Lincolnshire, uh, and it's a little bit flooded, but it doesn't seem to bother these guys. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So this is sort of the main central hub, and you can see it's an okay day. Uh, what we're we doing here? More birds are being fed. <laughs> Everybody gets a nut. Hello. Feeding time at the zoo. So one thing that the park offers here is a walk-through experience, and this is where you can get up close and personal to quite a lot of... Uh, of the animals and that's why the millets are so popular in millet seeds so we'll get them out and have a wander through the walkthrough right so we're heading into the walkthrough experience how do we get in which side <laughs> there's an in and an out i think but we're just going to go in here here we go the walkthrough experience there's a bit of an airlock here as well to stop other birds from getting out this looks like the start of a horror film here we go. 
Here we go. So we're in the walk through Avery now. And I expect to be mugged by parrots. And if I'm not, I want a refund. We've got some lorikeets here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, they're having some millet over here. <laughs> they saw that you'd got your your millet out. Blimey. Who are we going to give it to? This is a lovely... Lovely one. Oh, look, there's a cockatiel. Just like my grandmother used to have. He's not bothered by your nonsense. No. Oh, that's a beautiful cockatiel. Beautiful. I think it's the sort of experience that if you wish to stand in here long enough and the birds were hungry enough, they'd... Uh, They'd come and sit on you. It's quite nice to be in here with all the birds. And we've got a lovely, lovely area here. I nearly trod on you, mate. Nearly trod on you, mate. <laughs> little cockatiel. This little cockatiel here. And a beautiful golden crested pheasant there as well. Beautiful. Hello, mate. You good? Kitty fowl. How much of that have you got left then? Oh, not a lot of it's been munched. What I didn't notice when I was looking at this pond a minute ago is this, which is a red-eared slider, sort of from the terrapin family. Oh, we don't want to say that. Come on then. Not interested. <laughs> Fine, I'll have it then. Sit there, Mrs. John Keaton's made a friend. Who's this? <laughs> With me as well. He likes paint. He's doing a great job. If you need paint stripping services, then this is the guy to call. You all right? What you got there? Got one of these black parrot things. Loving life. Yeah. It's getting quite busy in the walkthrough enclosure now. Let's see if we can get uh, one of the birds to come and. See us. So she hasn't realised yet. She hasn't noticed. But I've made a friend now. <laughs> My plan did not work. Don't do that, you cheeky devil. 
Jeg skal lade brej med for det. Yeah. Jeg skal lade andet battle i. I managed to pass my friend off now to Mrs. John Keepland. Yeah, <laughs> oh, he likes zips. He's having a good munch on your zip there. Yeah. Cheeky devil. This cheeky devil has worked out that Mrs. John Keaton had some nuts in her pocket. So now he's uh, the talk of the town. Still not noticed. Got a good mate now. Here he is. Having a good old uh, lunch. Thank you, mate. realised. This one's living the dream. Yeah, he's happy, isn't he? Put him on your head? No. Yeah, put him on your head. No. <laughs> she realised that the millet was on her head. <laughs> there he is, having a great time. <laughs> Say hi to then. Off we go. Goodbye. <laughs> Come on. Off we go. Oh, has he actually? Yeah. Oh, he's just pooed on me now. Great times. Thanks for that, mate. Right, that's it. Got pooed on. Now we're leaving. It's getting busy as well. Uh, turns out, from speaking to one of the handlers, that that parrot that was on our shoulders is called Sid. Thank you. Now I'm being cleaned up. Thanks. <laughs> that's good. And it's a nice little interactive bit for kids and, 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 and others, others as well. All right, we'll carry on. Where to next? Oh, I'm going to go look at these ducks. Ooh. So we've come out of the uh, parrot enclosure now. There's all these picnic tables and bits and pieces that you can sit and have your lunch by. And I'm sure during the summer months when the sun is shining, uh, it's absolutely lovely. And you're here with the Quaker parrots and all sorts of bits and pieces as well. Right, we're carrying on. I see some bamboo. Um, what is next? Well, we'll soon find out. Also at Christmas time, yeah. you can come to see the reindeer. Oh, you can get through this way, can you? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and see uh, Santa Claus, some Christmas trees in there. The Enchanted forest. It's good for the kiddies at Christmas. Uh, now look who we've seen. <laughs> it's Aria. Right mm. We've just seen Aria. Called Chris. If you're old enough to get that joke, I'll, uh, I'll accept it. Right, we've come off the beaten track now. No idea what Mrs. John Keaton's doing. Uh, what are you doing? I don't know. Uh, so we don't know what's down here. I can see some terrapins. There's some ongoing works going on here. Um, but yeah, no reindeer. We couldn't see the reindeer. I have a funny feeling there's some tigers around here, and this is the way that we're on to. There's some terrapins here. Can you see the terrapins? Um, they're living the dream over here. Let's see if I can get a oh, get a picture of the terrapins. Well, if you get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> right here we go. There they are. Living the dream. Uh, the park here has a very famous big cat called Nigel. And he's been quite poorly recently. Um, we follow the park on the Facebooks. So hopefully we will see Nigel in a moment and he will be fighting fit. Uh, I can't remember what Nigel is, but <laughs> he's a big cat. We'll soon find out. This area is called The Peaceful Plot. Uh, it also seems like it's some sort of walk-through attraction area. A sensory and memory space. Ah, oh, that's nice. Very nice. So we'll be heading into the Peaceful Plot. Relax, meet birds, and uh, have a nice time. This is new. Again, looks like the start of a terrible horror film. 
Peaceful place. Very nice. Full of budgerigars. These are Australian budgerigars, did you know? Right, we're leaving the budgie house, the peaceful plot. Goodbye, budgies. Nice, nice little area that they've added. Uh, not many birds, but nice. Right, we'll carry on then. We're in the back of beyond now of the park. This is all Lincolnshire fields here. It doesn't belong to the park. Uh, we're in Friskneath, or we're in the middle of actually nowhere in Lincolnshire. And oh my goodness, here is Nigel. <laughs> a Nigel enclosure. Hopefully we can see Nigel and uh, make sure he's nice and well. There we go. I was half right. He's a puma. And there is Nigel. But where is Nigel? <laughs> that is the question. Nigel is not outside, so I'm hoping we're able to see Nigel inside. Um, so hopefully he's in his Nigel house. Here's Nigel, we found him. <laughs> like any cat, Nigel is cleaning himself this morning. He's having a great time. So we've seen Nigel, and now Mrs. John Coopend has found, wow, these are lions, <laughs> and they are right next to the glass. This is Pasha and Uganda, and that is just how we sleep as well. <laughs> Me, on my back, fat, <laughs> just with my hand on Mrs. John Cooten's bum. Uh, I have literally never been this close to a tiger. And honestly... Lion. <laughs> did I, what did I say? Lion. It's a lion. Did I say tiger? Yes. I always get them confused. Look at the size of the paws. Wowzer. Uh, it is no well-known secret that I um, I get my lions and tigers always mixed up. So that was... Pasha and Uganda, the white lion. I have honestly never seen a lion that close up. They were massive. What do you think to that? Oh, they're huge. Huge. Oh, we've come to a dead end somewhere. <laughs> Who knows what's going on here? I think this is the nature reserve, and it's actually closed off at the moment. Uh, although we want to see the tapir. Maybe the tapir has moved. Um, but yeah, what's around here? Nature reserve area, but it says it's closed at the moment, so we'll have to go back. Backwards we go. Uh, so we've seen Nigel. We've seen the uh, big puppy dogs. Or big pussycats. Very nice to see them up close. And, uh, and personal here at the uh, Lincolnshire Wildlife Park. This was lunch. For some tiger. Look at that. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be your dentist. No. Oh, really does look, look like that. something out of Lion King, doesn't it? It's MGN, Metro Goldwyn Mayer. Oh, oh, he's so big. Oh, he's, he's a right poser, isn't he? <laughs> he's a big poser. I've not been this close to a lion before. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's a roar. He did do a roar, didn't he? Oh, he's 
Well, we've just seen up close and personal the white lions. Uh, one of them's come out now into his enclosure. There he is, beautiful. What a beautiful boy. Here he comes. Come on then. Come and see us. Is he going to yawn? What a beautiful creature. So we're being a bit naughty. We're going across the beaten track a little bit. I think it's been closed because of how wet it is, but Mrs. John Cooper really wants to be Nigel the Puma. So, uh, <laughs> Here we are. You can be Nigel the Puma or Professor McCaw. Uh, which one are you going to be? Nigel the Puma! <laughs> Although Nigel's missing a leg now. Are you going to be Professor McCaw as well? No. Good. I'm, I'm Nigel. No. And now, musical parrot interlude. Here cat houses now. We've got quite a nice little meerkat area. Uh, not that I can see any meerkats. Can you see the meerkats? Hello, meerkats. I need a great deal on my car insurance. Hello. <laughs> there was some meerkats a moment ago. Look at a funky little meerkat town. I've got a pocket full of mealworms they might want. So hopefully at some point we can feed the meerkats. Here we've got an iguana and another one up here scratching about he's up in here but he, I can't see him but he can see me <laughs> alright so we're, we're now into the area where Cecil the tapir is and Cecil the tapir uh, is currently being fed so we're going to have a little wander down here and see Cecil and I think James the keeper is also doing a little talk on Cecil on the legs as well. Uh, so you can see he's a nice herbivore as well. Uh, so we're quite lucky on the site. Uh, we've got the kind of an entire nature reserve here. We can pretty much chop down most of the kind of branches for him and a lot of the other animals to eat. Um, at the moment, pretty much any kind of good green stuff is bamboo. So thankfully, he does quite like bamboo. That's pretty much all he's getting at the moment. Uh, but we're quite lucky. So lots of willow, uh, field maple, aspen, all sorts of stuff we quite give him. Uh, naturally, the wild he's a kind of a, a grazer. Uh, so pretty much if you can reach it, it'll try and grab onto it to eat it. Uh, so lots of leafy stuff, uh, kind of fruits, uh, any kind of veggies you can like get out of the ground as well. So you might notice he's kind of got that weird nose. Um, he's not related to anteaters or anything like that. Essentially he's kind of a weird South American horse. That's kind of essentially what he, a tapir is. Um, kind of most places it's horses and And Essentially that kind of weird nose snout type thing. Essentially, he kind of uses it as a hand. Uh, so obviously he's got these nice little poos, they don't do much use for kind of picking his food up. Uh, so, or wind playing water. Generally, most time, yeah. Um, obviously, it's, they'll get really protective, especially parents around babies, stuff like that. Uh, but most of the time, they're that as a brush, really. Oh, so I've seen Cecil, he was having a little bit of a munch. And now it's time to see the, uh, again I'm going to get it wrong. Tigers. Tigers, stripey ones. Um, so we'll try and find the tigers. We have found the tigers, they're over here in their little tiger house. So hopefully 
we'll be able to get up close and personal. Let's do a zoom. Tiger zoom, there they are. Uh, but hopefully we can get a little bit closer than that to the tigers. I'm not sure if we can get any closer than this to the old tigers. It appears it might be feeding time. Managed to get a little bit more up close with the tigers. Uh, we're in their little enclosure. Here's one of them. Doing tiger things. Like advertising frosted cornflakes. They're good. Here they come. On the hunt. So that's it then, we've seen the tigers, we've seen the uh, big cats. Uh, there's an area here which is the nature reserve, which is currently closed at the moment. Here's a part of it. We've had a good look, haven't we? Who lives at number 31? I don't know. Um, <laughs> Let's do that again. On, Who lives at number 31? Lemurs. Uh, not that we can see them. They are somewhere. That was better though. Ah, look who's out. It's the otters. Here they are. Slippery, slimy little devils. Having a great time. Everybody getting excited by the otters. We've got the uh, fish by those things. Mum and back home. We spotted the meerkats now. Here they are doing meerkat things. In fact, actually, we've got some meerkat food, haven't we? Yeah, well, you have. Well, I've got the meerkat food. Hello, meerkat. Here you go, I'll give it to you. You can feed the meerkats. If we just tipped the whole bag in, that's not how I expected us feeding the meerkats. <laughs> because they're really not that bothered. Ah, oh, here we go. No, don't want your mealworms. Got a lovely area for the uh, for the meerkats. This little town they've created for them. But they're not not really hungry for mealworms. So they've, they've eaten the uh, bits and pieces now, but now here is the What's Your Meerkat Cowboy Name? Your month of birth, well it's April, so it's whiskey. First letter of your first name, J, the Rotten. Uh, first letter of your last name, Flapjack. So I'm Whiskey the Rotten Flapjack. Let's do Mrs John Keaton's. Hers is November, so it's Pigtails, the Knee Slapping Flapjack. <laughs> Pigtails, the knee slapping flapjack. There we go. Uh, tortoises are out still. There he is. Living the dream. It's just started to rain. Uh, so we're going to go catch up with the last few nuts and bits and pieces we've got. And then I think that's done for the day here at the Lincolnshire Wildlife Park. Here they are. 
And Mrs. John Cooper is going to give him a give him a feed. You look at you all. Look. They're all here, waiting for the nuts. We've got that many nuts left over. <laughs> Mrs. John Kitten's just handing out a nut buffet. Everybody nuts. Nuts for all. Here at the Wildlife Park and Parrot Zoo. Nuts for you, nuts for you, nuts for you, nuts for you, nuts for you. They're noisy, these old African greys, but they're one of my favourites. Here's all the macaws. And they're waiting for some nuts. Nuts, nuts okay. for all. Can you reach? You got your nuts stolen, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, look at this beautiful orange and green and blue macaw. <laughs> These are lovely parrots. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I do love macaws. It reminds me of childhood parrot shows at places like Flamingo Land and Pleasure Island in Cleethorpes. And there is a black panther. Mm, can't see him. There he is. The other side of that waterfall, pacing up and down. Let's zoom in. Can we see him? There he is. Bagheera. The Black Panther. He's hiding behind that bamboo. For the moment. There he goes. There he's come. Now he's come for a better look. <laughs> what a beautiful boy. There's a Black Panther. That's it then, that is the uh, Lincolnshire Wildlife Park. We've had a great few hours, what, three or four hours here. Yeah. Uh, it's been raining and drizzling on and off. We're going to exit through the Rainforest Diner and Gift Shop and into the car park. We've had a good time. Um, it's not a massive zoo or park or anything like that, but there's some nice animals that you can see here. And if you, uh, if you want to spend a, an afternoon or a morning away in Lincolnshire then I'd suggest this is a good place to come. That's it then, so they've got the Rainforest Diner, cafe area, and it's exiting through the gift shop for us, where we will not be buying anything. <laughs> but you can get some local honey and bits and pieces and toys and parrots and a, a snake, even though we've not seen any snakes. And a lemur, and some tigers and a tortoise and all little bits and pieces here at the Lincolnshire Wildlife Park. That's it then. Back into the car park and out. Uh, that was good. I enjoyed that. Um, I'm not sure where we're heading next. Might have a little, uh, little head on down to somewhere else. What are you rating the L Lincolnshire Wildlife Park out of 10? Give us your honest eight. review. A solid eight. An eight. That's a yeah, strong, a solid eight. strong it's number. It's closed at the moment for maintenance, but it is still cold on winter season, really, isn't it? Still cold on winter season. Uh, it's priced reasonably well. Um, for two, it costs thirty pounds. Thirty pounds. So that's what fifteen pound each, and then we've yeah. spent five pounds on the millet and bits and pieces to feed the animals. So thirty-five pounds day out for the. Two of us killed an afternoon, and helps the animals. On, and if you do it online, they also plant a little tree. There you go. So if you book online, you get a tree planted as well. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, we're back now <laughs> through the car. Whatever you're going to get up to, have a great day. Take care. Don't forget to uh, smash the subscribe button, hit the like, and uh, comment if you've enjoyed the video. Till next time, have a great day. Goodbye. <laughs>